the hills are alive with the sound of engines. It's race day at the Austrian Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Pierre Gasly lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, and Vettel, Sainz, Ricardo, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Lando Norris, and Grosjean, Albon, Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen, and George Russell, Kubica, and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone.
this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Job. You've done everything we wanted today. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.